Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Columbus, Ohio for the Ohio Note Roadshow. We are here in uh, literally the Buckeye State this morning, just flew in this morning. We have a, uh, a bit of a accomplishment trying to make here in the next couple days as we drive around Ohio to look at roughly 60 plus assets. Uh, a big chunk of these are already in our existing portfolio. And then we're also adding another 30 plus, uh, or roughly around another 30 that we're looking at for to add to our portfolio that was uh, given us by two funds to take a look at. Um, you know, I've never been to Columbus. I've been to Cleveland. We've been to Cincinnati. We've been north of Columbus before. <laughs> um, we were out here last November uh, for an event down in Mason, the uh, core, the Central Ohio Real Estate Entrepreneurs Expo they had, uh, courtesy of being invited by Vina Jones-Cox. We're back here again in Ohio this week, also to speak this weekend at the uh, Midwest Note Summit this Saturday and Sunday, and then also speaking Thursday night at the core uh, note-specific subgroup. So, pretty excited about it. We have a ton, just so you see what's gone into this. Lily, here's our pages of due diligence. We've got some photos of properties. We've got all sorts of different stuff on this information to help us take a look at so we don't have to jump to a laptop. So we don't have to jump to a, uh, a spreadsheet to take a look at. You know, we've got uh, pictures of the assets that were taken online. And uh, that helps us obviously drive by the asset. But we'll be taking photos. And on this, um, why don't you go through a little bit of what we got there. We got the loan number stuff. What else we got? Who is it, who's it from? That's the type. What else we got, Steph? The loan number, who it from? It's from the, the last uh, total 12 month of payments. Good morning. <laughs> you can caffeinate. <laughs> um, when the next payment is due, the total um, occupancy, your typical bed, baths, your values low, your values high. Uh, some ba basic information about the property itself. Your yeah, build, bed's back, occupancy, your bill. Uh, crime in the area is something to look out for. A um, bit of information on the last solds. You're built. BPO value, BPO date, yeah. um, and the square footage. So, yeah. got a lot of stuff on here, actually. Yeah, we do have got a lot of stuff here. One of the things that... Start point. Exactly. And we narrowed the list down, obviously, because we it was actually closer to 80 when I first took a look at it here the last day or so. I want to say thanks to everybody that's watching out there this morning. Thanks so much for watching it. Um, but the thing I want to, to, to reiterate, and that's why we do this here, this is why we did this in Michigan. If you have the opportunity to kill two birds or three birds with one proverbial stone, why wouldn't you do it? Uh, I've been a big believer that the, if you live in Michigan or live in Ohio, those two spe states specifically, or Indiana or even Illinois outside of Crook County, that there are plenty of assets for you to take a look at. You could actually literally not have to leave your state. And Ohio is not Texas. We can agree to that in the size. All right. It would take a while if we were buying assets all across Texas. But the thing to keep in mind is these things are all relatively pretty close to each other. Uh, we may have to crisscross one day, depend on our, our schedule. But um, the thing is, we removed. I removed a lot of houses that had not been paying, unless they were in our existing portfolio. And so, if they got any payments coming in in the last 12 months, that's what we filter by first at for the assets that aren't in our portfolio. That's the contract for deeds. Now we do have some true non-performing notes that we're looking at as well. Um, about nine of those. Um, like I said, 32, 33 in our portfolio, and the rest are from a different fund. And then we also may be adding another chunk of assets as well if we've got time today or if we decide we may want to stay an extra day and look at some assets on Monday. So, But the thing to keep in mind, guys, let's just drive by. You get in a car, drive by the assets if you get an opportunity. It allows for you to learn a lot about the property. It learns, lets you learn a lot about the area it's in. Uh, we're extremely excited because there were some things... Um, it's a written checklist. Once again, it's a written checklist. This is a written checklist, okay? Things that we have pulled off the tape, off the spreadsheet of what it is with a picture of the asset taken off online so we can match it up. Um, but the things that we look at in an area are, hey, is there a school nearby? Is there a major employer nearby? You know, we obviously do a quick Trulia check on this stuff. We, uh, one of the beautiful things is we use notepros.com to help us initially with some of the online due diligence by just dropping in the addresses. And then it, it gives us a high, low value, a, 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 you know, kind of a, a value estimation. It checks crime map, to see if there is crime in the area. And what I did, because I didn't list all the crime, I just said if there was crime, I just narrowed everything down, say, hey, there's some crime in the area. Um, 
but the rent rate, square footage, you know, when it recently sold, how much it sold for, um, you know, there's a lot of great stuff on here that allows for us to make a determination whether we want to go forward with it, right, Steph? Mm -hmm. So. And we learned a lot about the area, which is nice. It's really fun to do that. Yeah, yeah, and that's just driving the area, getting a feel for things. This helps in the long run, too, because it helps us identify realtors, identify opportunities in the neighborhood. Oh, I like that because this is just down the street, which you won't see that from a, a Google map or a overhead view. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Exactly. You know, it's, it gives us opportunity. And there's been several times, especially through when we're driving through Michigan, when we hit Pontiac and Flint, that your opinion kind of changes the area, right? Well, that's part a huge part of the reason why I like driving through the area because sometimes you, you might, from the information you can download and, and check out initially, the asset may look like it's in a sketchy area or that it's not so great. And if you get a chance to go by and check that out, you can see, oh, well, maybe it actually is kind of sketchy, but the street, two streets over, is really nice. And it differs block by block, and there's community engagement. And so those things help to, um, they revive communities, but it helps to get a better idea of the community as a whole rather than just that little bitty slice in a time capsule. So I enjoy that, and it has changed my opinions on some areas. Um, for the good and for the bad, mm -hmm. actually. I've, I've seen some assets that look great, and we have gotten out there and taken a look at it, and it's just not somewhere I'd want to be. Yeah, that's true. The, the photo may look really nice. Yeah. We found that in, in uh, parts of Michigan. Property looked great, but there was all these burnouts and just crappy houses around it, so they killed it. Yeah. All right? It was too much blight. Exactly. Or the house looked, looked bad because uh, it was an old photo, and then we pulled up. It was completely rehabbed, remodeled. And somebody was loving it, doing some a lot of uh, TLC to it, and it had some emotional equity to it. So that's the beautiful thing. It's also nice to see if the light is on, if the house looks lived in. You know, especially right now with it being noon on a uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, roughly here. <laughs> Hopefully the borrowers are at work, so that yeah. gives us an opportunity. <laughs> or their kids are at school or things like that, too. So we're pretty stoked about this. Now, one of the things that we're going to do is I'm going to use some of these assets actually for tomorrow night. During my presentation at the core subgroup, we'll actually go through some case studies with everybody to talk about some stuff. So that's a nice thing as well. And of course, we'll use this as well this weekend when we're talking with our the investors out of the Midwest Note Summit. So if you haven't bought tickets to the Midwest Note Summit, you still can. Um, definitely a great opportunity to go out there. Myself, Donna Bauer, and a few other people will be there. Tony Satil, uh, Bill Griesmeyer. Vina Jones, Jones Cox, obviously, who's putting on the yeah. event. Let's not forget <laughs> Queen Vina. I'm not forgetting Vina. Exactly. So, but, uh, you know, if you're, gonna, like I said, if you can be in an area where you're going to a meetup group or it's in one of your top five states or a, a big market that you're looking to invest in some time in on a regular basis, something you like, nothing beats jumping on a plane. Southwest flies just about anywhere and you can plan it out a couple weeks out. Reach out to some asset managers because that's what I did. I reached out to asset managers and lo and behold, when it rains, it pours. It is raining, actually. Yeah, technically it is raining, you're right. That was not <laughs> meant to say that, but all right, great. Uh, plenty of assets to you. Um, Brady asks, will you buy an unrecovered neighborhoods but but the asset number work? No, it, that's the thing. If the numbers look great on an asset, and yes, looking at it, but when you put eyes on a property, your realtor tells you, no, it's in a crappy area, uh, a two-gun area. No, it doesn't make sense to do that. So I won't buy an unrecovered areas. I don't want to put my money, I don't want to put investors' money at bad stuff, you know, in, in a bad place as well. So that's the thing why we're here to look at this. Because we are buying, we are funding stuff. Uh, the beautiful thing is that a lot of the assets that we're looking at over the next couple of days are ours in the portfolio that's already performing. And that's the, that's a beautiful thing. They've either A, been performing for 12 months, 6 months, 3 months um, here in Ohio. Uh, I've already nixed one because it's just too far out of the way. But it's also the one that's got like nine grand in payments in the last 12 months, which is a great one. So it's it'd be a good one. I'll just have a, somebody drive by and take a photo for me. I'm not worried about that. So, And if we do end up staying Monday, we'll drive by it on the way to look at the one we're looking at. So who knows? So, But, um, you know, we try to make this as much of a learning process as possible. Um, you know, if you're not going to pull the trigger, you're not going to make offers, then the note business is not for you. I will tell you that. the real You should not be in real estate. Just because the fact is, if I get if you want to buy a couple assets here and there and a hobby, that's fine. It's totally fine. But this is full contact, game on, big boy deal stuff. This is where you can really make a lot of money by buying stuff and getting a feel for the asset and for the market. And then making that market a staple in your, your real estate and loan portfolio. And so there's op obviously opportunities to make things like this happen for you. So 
Uh, what's great is we got some things that we're working in the works with. I see one of our guys jump on here. Peter, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I guess you're out in California. And we're really working to kind of automate some things. So as we get lists in and people are opted into our Facebook and some of our things that we're working on, to be able to help automate a lot of this stuff and uh, deliver deals in the palm of your hand to the smartphone. So good stuff. Uh, we'll be out here, like I said, today, tomorrow, Friday, and then uh, obviously be in, not Dublin, Mason, Ohio, at Great Wolf Lodge uh, for Friday, uh, Saturday and Sunday's Midwest Note Summit. Uh, yeah, hey, Laura, drop me. Uh, I see Laura's commenting on here. No hobby investing, full up boogie. That's right. Uh, Laura, if we've got a conference call, please text me later. If you've got a conference call with somebody, let me know. Just shoot me a text message and shoot me the info if we've got one. All right? Because I won't be able to be on my laptop as we're trying to hit so many, as many asses as possible. Okay? But anyway, uh, guys, that's all I've got for you on this start. Obviously, we'll have a lot more as we get rocking and rolling here as we look at some assets. Yes, we'll be posting uh, a photo of the asset and then information below as we get rocking and rolling like we did with the Michigan Note Roadshow. Anything else, Steph, you want to add? I want to add, we have barely been off the plane for an hour. And we've already gotten, it, it took about four, we got the luggage, we got the car, or we got the truck, and we've already looked at the first asset. So minus doing this live, we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. We'll be looking at assets as long as there's sunlight tonight and then booking a hotel. Yeah. Getting up early tomorrow. We got actually a special thing I'm doing tomorrow online too. It's a little bit different than than the real estate stuff, but uh, we're pretty stoked about uh, Columbus here. The first uh, after we hit our assets here, Columbus, we'll be heading east and then up and then across through Cleveland. Not looking at anything in Cleveland or Cuyahoga County because those the Nazis up there. But then hitting uh, Toledo and then down uh, to Dayton, Cincinnati, and that neck of the woods. So that's kind of our proverbial circle or. Uh, Dipper, I call it. The Ohio Dipper is what we're looking at based on the map. So, anyway, guys, uh, if you have any questions, comments, some love, appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoy this, feel free to share this. Let's see if we can't get another couple hundred or thousand views on these. Uh, this is a video before the, uh, the weekend's over. And uh, stay tuned for updates. We'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.